Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Earth Guru. Thank you for watching. So I was gonna post a video yesterday, but my brand new iMac Pro died on Saturday. <clears throat> so it's been acting up pretty much since the moment I received it. It has not been stable. I've had this computer and this set up for now seven years, and it's just been totally rock solid. So came down Saturday morning to do final editing on a video. <clears throat> yes, I leave my video editing pretty much to the last moment. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> and it was acting up. Um, um, I went to do my mail. It blew up. I tried to launch Fusion for something else, and it wouldn't launch at all. So I'm like, you know, screw it. I'm going to reboot it. I rebooted it, it rebooted, came up and it said, hey, um, it's got this little circle with a line through it icon. And it said, which according to the Googles, says that you have a valid startup disk, but the operating system on said disk is not valid for your hardware. Now, again, the computer's three months old. I'm, I'm trying to hold back the rage. I really am. <clears throat> I'm not doing a very good job. Anyway, so I cycled the power and it just never came back alive. It wouldn't come up at all. And I'm pretty industrious. I've tried a lot of different things. I Googled a lot of different things. Couldn't get it to work. So I scheduled an appointment with the nearest Apple repair people. Not the Apple store. We have an Apple store just down the road, but they couldn't take, I couldn't get an appointment until late in the afternoon and I had a conflict. So I went to Micro Center and show up in Micro Center for my 10.40 a.m. appointment. And I stand in line for 30 minutes. Show up, it's as if they had no idea it was coming. So, not only was I aggravating for standing in line and lugging a 50 pound computer through the parking lot and whatnot, but it was better than lugging it through the mall to the Apple store. I was aggravated when I got there. They had no idea it was coming. I explained what was going on and long and short of it, this is now, you know, whatever, 1130 <clears throat> in the morning, you know, we'll call you by 5 p.m and tell you what's going wrong with your computer. We're gonna do some diagnostics on it. And they wanted my username and my password and a bunch of other, a bunch of other information I wasn't, I wasn't prepared and or comfortable with handing over, but I did so anyway. 4.56 p.m., I get a phone call. Basically saying they took it apart. There are no diagnostics lights on the motherboard that are on. I don't know what that means. And so they need to replace the power supply. But of course they have no power supply to test it with, which was one of my questions. Because they said, we need to replace the power supply. I should roll back. They need to replace the power supply and it's gonna take three days. We're gonna order it, they're gonna overnight it, and it's gonna take three days. And I said, I don't understand the math on this. And he said, well, we can't order it till Monday. They're gonna overnight it, it won't be until Wednesday. And again, I said to the guy, I don't understand the math. You order it Monday, you overnight it, that's Tuesday. You can call me Tuesday and tell me what's wrong with it. Yeah, well, that's the best that they can do. And the they being, I don't know who, the man, Apple, like, whatever. <clears throat> so today's Monday. I'm posting this video to tell you that I didn't post a video yesterday because I lost somewhere between 20 and 30 hours worth of video on my computer. Now, I have a NAS. I back it up to the NAS. Um, I'm not restoring it on this computer because I have a terabyte worth of video that I'm in the process of editing. I have four ongoing projects, videos from the last month, I'm not convinced that it's all backed up on my NAS. I can't go into Time Machine and see what's there and what's not there without restoring it, which is aggravating me. Um, I'm pissed off 
at Micro Center right now. I'm pissed off at Apple because they have to order a power supply before they can figure out whether or not the motherboard's bad. And if they get the power supply and it still doesn't power up, then they go to order the motherboard and that's another three to five days. So I don't have my freaking computer for like two weeks. And they said, even if they get a motherboard, they might not be able to restore the data. So I'm gonna wait two weeks to find out that I get a new computer and I have to un screw this myself. The computer's three months old. Did I mention the computer is brand new? Have I mentioned the computer's brand new? So look, I've had a lot of apples in my life. Going back to the early 90s, um, I had an issue with my original G5. Uh, they replaced it and I never had an issue. In fact, it's right over there on the floor. It still works. I ordered that computer 16 years ago and it still works. This computer, it's now seven years old, six and plus years old, whatever. It still works. I'm, look, I spent over $5,000 for this iMac Pro thinking that it was going to be some hot shit. It has been unstable. It has been unreliable. It has taken forever to do things that this computer, which is six years old, does in the same amount of time. I'm super bitter right now about Apple and their repair procedures and everything. So I do apologize. I'm going to call this maybe vlog number five because this is just a rant. Because I can't do what I want to do. And, you know, I was going to make this video yesterday, um, but it turns out that it took me pretty much all day yesterday to get, resurrect my laptop back to the state that it was um, with, you know, software updates and missing software and yada, yada, yada. In fact, I don't have any video editing software on this computer at all. So I might just post this for what it is and use the YouTube editing thing, which doesn't work on this computer very well. Um, except I use Chrome and then the Chrome gets all cranky and bitchy and whatever. <sighs> all right, so friends, you're not gonna see a video about the, pro the cool, very cool project that I've been working on for the last month. If you follow me on Instagram, check it out. Um, I would leave a link, but I'm not sure that I can. Um, I made a super nice live edge walnut table with a, an amazing cherry base with these wonderful pinned corners. It's amazing. Trust me. You might have to because you might never see the video. More importantly, like I said, the next three videos, including that one, well, the previous video, that one, and then the next two videos are all on the computer that may not be resurrected. Um, it's roughly six, 700 gigabytes worth of video files um, when you factor in all the magicness that um, <coughs> Final Cut puts into it, um, which I thought maybe was the problem actually, that it basically filled up my one terabyte hard drive. But I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna walk the dog. I'm gonna follow the process. I will report back. I will tell you what my experience is with the actual repair process because that's what we need to do. <clears throat> At this point, I'm super angry and super disenfranchised with the process, with Apple, with Micro Center, with everything. Literally, the guy at Micro Center said that had we purchased it at Micro Center, we being me, well, we would just replace it because it's so new. But since you purchased it somewhere else, oh yeah, that's right, I purchased it online from the people who make the computers. But because I purchased it from the actual manufacturer that they won't replace it. So I call up Apple and I say, hey, Apple, like they're gonna replace it, but I didn't buy it from them, so maybe you'll replace it. And the guy was like, yeah, no, we're gonna walk the dog with repairing it. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> I'm on a soapbox, I'm ranting. Sometime next week, 
I don't know when. I'm going to say I might post a video next Sunday if I'm lucky. Just on a status update. Because I will tell you with a 99% degree of accuracy that I will not have my computer back. Um, <clears throat> if the power supply thing doesn't work, I might try to restore my files onto this computer. Um, but this has got a 256 gig hard drive. <clears throat> and I have... Um, you know, 900 gigabytes worth of stuff on my other computer. Mm, nearly all video files. So, um, and this has only got like, I don't know, it's got a two thirds of the hard drive left. I don't know. Because I pulled away when I moved over to my iMac Pro. All right, deep breaths. It's all good. Um, hey, um, I don't want likes. I don't want subscribes. I don't want thumbs up. Just thank you for watching if you got it this far. Um, hey, if you like this video, you know what the hell, subscribe. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But other than, um, you know, keep it real. You know, computer things are hard. I do professionally. This has been my first experience with Apple getting something repaired since, um, let's see. Got the G5 in 2002. It's my first experience in a few years, 17. <clears throat> things have changed. Clearly things have changed. All I'm gonna tell you is, this is a sparkling rosé that we found from some friends and it's fantastic. I'm gonna drink more of it. I don't know what to say other than I don't know what to say. Thank you for getting this far. Don't forget, despite all this, to be inspired. Thanks everyone.